it's Cindy. Welcome back to Studio Lou. So today I am working on my latest journal. Um, I thought I would do maybe a little bit of crafting. I need to make a bunch of ephemera for this journal. So this is um, a nice vintage book. Um, it's a bunch of stories by Frances Hodgson Burnett, um, as the, the cover shows you. Um, it's a really pretty journal and the, the theme that I'm going with with this one is like a little bit different for me. I'm sort of theming it around the idea of like cozy, warm, a cozy life or something. I think that's kind of <laughs> the, the direction this is going that I'm working in. Um, so I got all the signatures chosen and uh, I'm using a kit from Ephemera's Garden in this um, journal. It's called um, it's The Rain abounds or something I can't remember but it's ephemera's garden on Etsy and it's these pages here they're the first page of each of the five signatures so I've kind of gotten a little start but I do need to make a bunch of ephemera um, so the overall feel of this journal is kind of just cozy warm you know kind of things I was able to use these nice um, these are the original these were the fly papers. The end papers were the same, but it's one of those books where it has the end paper and the fly paper are exactly the same. So I was able to strip out the old spine, create a nice new strong fabric bound spine and still have those original end papers. So I'm pretty happy about that. And then this pretty like, um, this is a sparkly paper. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but it's really pretty. These are like really sparkly. Um, <clears throat> scrapbook paper that I got from like um, a Facebook marketplace like posting for, for forever ago. I've, I've had it forever. And then the back I used the same thing and then I've made one piece of ephemera, this journal card, and that again is the original end paper. And that goes in there. So um, Rain's Embrace, that's the name of the kit that I'm using in this journal. Um, I just kind of randomly found um, Ephemera's Garden, and this is the the only kit that I've bought and, that I've bought so far. I just used that terrible word "boughten" that is not a word. <laughs> Please forgive me. So I've added lace on the the first uh, page and the last page of each of the um, signatures, and I've been just kind of. I've used some of the original illustrations. I'm still working away on it. I'm using um, an Anna Green Gables journal to create a lot of the ephemera because I feel like it has, this page is all crinkly, oh my gosh, I love it. I feel like it has the kind of um, feel that I'm going for, that Anna Green Gables kind of, you know, like a happy, happy life kind of theme. And I did all of my stitching and my stenciling before. This is from another kit, I forget who it's from but it's really fun um i did all my my stamping and uh, stuff before i bound it so that will kind of give me like some completed pages which is nice and this is um i'd already made these so i have a few things i've already made but i think that's about as far as i've gotten in this journal so far um so yeah i need to make a bunch of ephemera that's sort of what i'm looking to do today and I was going to make, um, there's some more pages here from that kit. Oh, here, let me just snooze my alarm. Sorry about that. I think I got disconnected for a minute when I was snoozing my door alarm. Um, anyways, so I've used um, lots of different papers, lots of different dyed papers in here. Um, all sorts of nice things but we'll just go through it and I'll make uh, things kind of as I go this is what the kit looks like that I'm using in here the rains embrace and then <clears throat> what else have I done in here not a whole lot this pocket with this tag lots of avocado dyed paper I liked the pinky kind of tones for this journal so I went with a lot of avocado dyed paper um, yeah but anyhow that's what's done so far I've, I've gotten a little bit done not a ton so lots of work to do on that still um, but first I'll share with you a little bit um, I went thrifting today I did a little bit of thrifting and I picked up an estate auction as well um, the only thing interesting for this video from the estate auction I'll show you is um, I got a bunch of old photographs um, from the auction. The other things I got was I got two Ontario um, gravestone books, like about the history of gravestones in Ontario, and four quilting books, but they're not really all that interesting for this. I did go to the um, 
the Mennonite thrift store, however, and I found a few things. So they had a bunch of envelopes of paper dolls, and I think they were pretty nice. And each envelope was $2, which I think is totally like reasonable. Um, and they're really cute. So I'm thinking about how I would want to use these in a journal. So they do come with the original paper doll and a whole bunch of clothes, right? All these different paper doll clothes. So I thought that was so cute. So um, yeah, I'll be putting some thoughts into that. If you have any ideas about, um, you know, if you think a certain kind of journal you would like with the paper doubles, let me know. They had all sorts. I only grabbed a few. There were tons of Barbie ones. And I tried to grab a few different things. So this is, this one's really exciting. This is Moshishi. So there's like a boy and a girl and all their clothes and they're so cute. Right? So cute. Moshishi. Um, and yeah, they come with a lot of clothes. <laughs> the envelope is so close. So that's the Moshishi. And then um, this is just titled as Rainbow. But it is, um, it's Barbie or Skipper, I think. I'm not sure. And... Um, but it's from these are from 1983 and they come with lots of rain this one comes with lots of rainbow clothes um let me grab this stuff out just to show you all these different dresses they're so cute lots of rainbow stuff this one has a cat i love this i totally want this ensemble <laughs> or all of them really they're really cute oh my gosh yeah so cute so I was pretty happy to find those I felt like what a cute thing and I think they'd be really fun on ephemera and also you could use um magazines or other books if you were trying to make like you know characters you could find I'm sure lots of different media would have the same size pictures like heads and bodies um oh and then this is from my estate auction that I that I got um, so just a little stack of photographs. I'll show them to you real quick. So this one is like a wedding kind of maybe with like, I think she would be the bride. And then these like beautiful flapper style girls with this, um, old car. This one's kind of like, I don't know, sad, but also interesting. It looks like more than likely some Indian elephants that have been transported, um, you know, for zoos or something. And this one is this lovely lady. And then there were a few that were kind of um, more like industrial. Like this one is like a crane over a boat. And like looking at the water. Coverdale, Montreal. So I think that's a boat. More boat pictures. Um... And then this is like inside of a boat maybe, or it says photo by FVC Shortis. So it's like either in a factory or inside a boat. It looks like soldiers. This one is really cute though. It's like maybe mama and baby with this old car. And I love this one. It's um, in Niagara Falls and Toronto. They, they had these two like sashes and there's like two ladies and a gentleman in front of like, um, I don't know, like a car or a truck. And then this is like a little kid with a hockey stick. And then um, this looks like some kind of a soldier maybe or a cadet, a kid. And this lady in this old car. And maybe dad or grandpa with a little kid and this boat. And this is like a sports team, a girl sports team. And these three lovely girls and in the background you can see this old car in the house and then this is maybe a school picture and it looks like the teacher or someone has this little dog on his lap and this one's kind of cool it comes in this like silver frame and it looks like some kind of a military person probably like somebody on a ship and this is a, a guy with a shotgun standing by a tree um, three little boys and a bike and then these ladies sitting on this like cannon it's kind of cool and another of the boat pictures so lots of like you know maybe 
ship marine kind of ephemera. <clears throat> kind of cool. Then, that's all I got from the estate auction, like for journaling kind of stuff. But the MCC thrift store always comes through. So this I got, I thought it was really nice. Um, let just pull off the tag here. So it's a pillowcase and the front is just beautiful. And the back is nice too, but I'm all about the front. I think that I could do something really nice with that. So that will go into the fabric stash. This place is actually kind of like dangerous for fabric. So I got this old quilt. It has um, some staining on it like yellowing and it looks kind of like probably um, coffee like that's what it looks like I'm going to wash it thoroughly and then I'm probably just gonna cut apart cut it apart essentially it's quite an old quilt and it was five dollars um, it's a little larger than like your standard kind of baby size quilt but it's really beautiful and I thought like journal covers with that would be gorgeous it's a nice weight too and it's like nice cotton I'm I feel like probably all this staining will come out it, it probably has just been stored somewhere because like even this larger yellow wing um it probably looks a little darker on camera than it actually is um it could just be water damage potentially it's coffee i don't think it's anything yucky like but yeah i will be giving it a good hot water wash and uh it will be good um then i got this so this is like a little more than i would normally pay for fabric like that like this but these actually look like really nice fabrics so for six dollars um which i think is considerably less than what i would spend if i were to buy like fabric to make masks or something you know like this is um this is a free spirit fabric and it's like a decent size like you know to make things with so it's really pretty too. <clears throat> These are like more modern fabrics. Like they're not, you know, your typical run of the mill thrift store sort of fabric. Like that's pretty. This is really nice and it's a larger piece. Um, and it's a higher quality kind of cotton, nice, like it's probably, it's for Rowan. So Belle, Belle and Amy. Oh, it's Amy Butler. Sorry, Belle by Amy Butler. I should have known that. That's obviously Amy Butler. Goodness. <laughs> Her beautiful, like, floral paisleys and stuff. Um, so that's pretty. And then this little polka dot and these little X's. I thought that was really cute. Actually, very cute. And it's um, a moda. Modern Backgrounds More Paper by Bridget Highland for Zen Chic or Moda. This one's really pretty too. So yeah, like nice, nice fabrics. Um, this is Heather Bailey Hop Dot. And this one is really pretty too. This is um, Feel the Difference Art Gallery Fabrics. Um, designed by Bonnie Christine for Art Gallery Fabrics. So that's nice. Super cute. Um, and then this is really fun. It's like little bitty like circles, kind of like pebbles. Um, let's see who this is from. I cannot read it. Oh, here we go. Noteworthy by. It's a moda. Looks like sweetivity. I don't know. It's bad typography. I know that much. <laughs> I don't like bad typography and this one is cute it's like tacos and hearts which I'm totally all about so that's that bag of fabric and then I got some nice threads for a dollar fifty five spools of nice threads and great colors um, then I got this it's a lovely Munsters book, like an old Munsters book. It was $4, the Munsters, The Last Resort, but I love it so much. I, it obviously needs a little help. It's, uh, it's, it's definitely coming away from its spine, which is totally fine for me. Love this so much. I thought this would be such a fun journal, like a Halloween journal maybe, or, you know, just like a fun Munsters journal. I don't know how many images are in it, but I love this one. Um, Hopefully there's another one or two. There is one. 
Yay. Yeah, I think there's a few. Yeah. So yeah, that would be a really fun journal. And I could see it with like, you know, um, like Halloween and maybe some like bluey green teal to kind of go with the cover and some coffee dyed paper and, um, you know, kind of grungy. It would be nice. And these vintage fun images and like probably a lot of the text in the book. It's nice big text. So pretty happy about that. The lady at the counter was really cute. She's like, oh, this is, this is an old book. Did you see the price inside? It's $4. She literally whispered it. I was like, I'm seriously going to kiss your face. You're so cute. I said, yeah, I'm, I'm good. It's fine. <laughs> but I'm guessing a lot of people like don't want to pay extra for things like that. Oh, and then I don't need to share this, but I have to because it's so funny. This is a dress that I bought for my daughter. It was like, it still has the tags on, so it hasn't been worn. It's organic cotton and it's from this brand, Mini Rodini. But seriously, just look how hilarious this dog is. Like, this dog is all over the dress and it's the sleepiest looking dog. Like, somebody give this dog a taco because he needs energy. I was like floored by how hilarious this dress is. It's probably like three sizes too big for her still, but I couldn't, I couldn't say no. And I know I'm just randomly showing you things. Usually I organize like books, fabric, whatever, but it's random today. Then I found this book, um, Dear Millie by Wilhelm Grimm. And um, it is illustrated by Maurice Sendak, who I love. If you saw my recent journal, Where the Wild Things Are, I love Maurice Sendak. I love the embossing on the front of this book. And I'm thinking about what I will do with it. I'm thinking a journal in this size would just be really awesome. Um, like a, your sketchbook maybe, like a sketchbook or like a, a desk book or something. Um, and I would use a lot of the original pages because like the illustrations are cool. I have to read the story first, um, but the illustrations are just like gorgeous. Like look at that. So, um, yeah, I think I'll be doing something with that for sure. Cause like I could take, um, I mean, first of all, I could, I could, um, like mesh papers together, stitching them together, you know, like washing them together, all that kind of thing. Um, but also I have really long paper like this that, that I could use in a journal this size. And this would be a great opportunity to use some of that paper. Um, I have a lot of like large format encyclopedia that's been, beautifully like cabbage dyed and stuff so this would be a really nice way to use that and then next um is this book um the, this uh, well, this was half off the red tags today so it was three dollars um I always like to take these off but I guess it doesn't matter because I doubt that I will use the cover of this it's the secret garden but I bought it for the obviously the illustrations inside um, it's got really nice illustrations beautiful beautiful things so yeah I had to grab that book it was just too pretty um, what else what else let's see I got more threads so these were a dollar fifty or three dollars yeah because there's a lot in there the other one was a dollar fifty um uh, and these were they were not red tag but it's lots of different blues which is good then I got this fun um this is 44 inches by 18 inches um that doesn't make sense anyways it was two dollars and it is a really cool like quilt um quilted piece of fabric so this is the back and that's the front and i thought it would make a really fun i just got um Amity Bloom. She just came out with a really new or a really nice new line of papers. I think it's part of a workshop that she's doing called like the the Everyday Journal or something. I just picked up her digital kits for the Everyday Journal. They're like these bright and flowery beautiful um, papers and like vintage wallpaper feel and her illustration style and all that. She's just a happy cheery kind of person and so is her work and sometimes I just really that just really jives with me these days. I just need like bright and happy. 
So anyways, I think that those, those are a match made in heaven. Um, I just need more time. I have like about a million journals in my, my mental queue right now. And I'm like, <laughs> I don't have enough time. Anyways, so this was $3.50. Um, and this is a bag of just plain fabrics, which I always need for backing things like bodices for dresses. So there's brown, blue, this bright orange, blue, pink, um, kind of a taupe beige um blue again different blues brown gray and blue again and this ochre and a bright blue yellow orange red green red different red um so yeah they're really good backings for making like most of the dresses that i make for my daughter i just do linings because then you don't have to mess around with like you know um finishing the edges and stuff with that annoying seam binding kind of stuff I, I hate dealing with all that so it's all about lining for me it's so much easier and then I got one more bag of fabric and one little other little piece of fabric so this one is a dollar fifty eighteen by twenty eight um holy moly that is a strong piece of rope <laughs> string but yeah it's really pretty and it is probably a fat quarter I'm guessing like roughly that size and I don't see salvage on it but it's really pretty and I like it and I'm a fabric hoarder so this was six dollars and I really love this little this little piece of shark fabric I'm thinking of making some overalls for my son and making like a pocket out of that then there was another little little piece of shark fabric so yeah these little things are so sweet and then some indigo dyed fabric which is nice and some ticking more indigo dyed fabric this one I wasn't even sure what was in this bag I honestly just bought it on a whim because you know and then oh wow look at these owls that's a great piece of fabric I mean I know it's a small piece it's made in Japan oh, that's awesome I need to maybe look for this what it doesn't say on the salvage what it is but that's beautiful and then this one i saw this one in the bag lemons super cute oh more shark that's good another little piece of this shark fabric so cute and a little piece of blue and some gray stripes and bicycles more of these lovely lemons oh this is pretty this is really pretty what is this it's more art gallery fabrics um doo -doo -doo -doo. Catherine Rochella yeah Scopilos yeah, let me turn it inside right that would help it's kind of cut in a weird way so there'd be enough there to make a mask or to make like you know to use in journals and that kind of thing make ephemera and it's really pretty it's like that it looks like the top of a poppy like the poppy's seed and then some dotted blue denim yeah that's denim nice more of those lemons and then I probably won't use this. I'll probably redonate it. It's just like this bright red mousse fabric. It's a little, little too Canadian for me. <laughs> I am Canadian, but not that Canadian. Um, I don't really do a lot of those kind of things, like those themes. But lovely nonetheless. So that is my first haul for today. We are 20 minutes into this video. So let me just get this stuff out of the way. I will pause and um, we'll do some work on this journal. <laughs> okay, welcome back. So um, I'm going to get a start now just making some ephemera, seeing what I need. I'm probably just going to make as I go for a little while. I don't usually do that. I usually try to like count up what I need and make, 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 make. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking about, I have this book image of this little, this little rooster here and I really like it and I'm thinking it would look cute down here. So I'm going to make, I think, a little cluster with this little rooster. Yeah, so today I went and picked up my auctions and, um, 
in the afternoon and went to there's this lovely um, it's, it's a Mennonite country sort of there and there's a lovely restaurant called Anime's where they make this really good roasted chicken we, we go every now and then and so we got that we went on a picnic at one of our kind of little parks we went to a different one today we often go to this one um, that it's really nice it has like um, the, sort of a playground down a hill and then there's also like a nice little pond there we usually go to that one but today we we found a different one and had fun though it had like a really interesting little like brook um and there was a like a concrete plank that went through the middle of it that like you could walk over um and like the water would kind of rush over your feet so that was kind of nice for the for the kiddos they had fun i had fun it was nice so yeah okay where did i put my glue here it is yeah so it feels good to just be kind of making a craft video like a making video i've done haven't done it in a while and i was just going to make like another like thrift haul video today but i'm trying to get back in the um the groove of making like making videos doing artwork and stuff because that's kind of what I enjoy doing. I think I've just been really into kind of like just chill, relaxed sort of making and watching other people's videos. <laughs> I also, I have the funniest, so I have one YouTube account that I just watch videos on and then I have this YouTube account that like I make videos and whatnot and that's I don't even know why that is I just have always had I had another account before this one that like I just had logged into in order to kind of like watch videos um and like I don't leave comments usually because I usually watch YouTube on my television which I think a lot of people do nowadays like I think I feel bad sometimes like I watch a lot of your videos if you're a fellow journal maker I promise I do but I probably don't comment all that often because I just um I just watch a lot of them mainly on television and so it's not like easy to comment that way and I'm just gonna clean the excess glue here just pat this down a little bit because it's a the doily you always get the little bits of glue that come right through the doily and I always think how smart um i watch sometimes i watch shabby dabby doodahs videos and i always think about tina in those videos and how smart she is to always have the baby wipe on hand to just kind of do the the wiping of the excess glue and also to like not get glue on her finger so i'm trying to copy her on that one so this i think i like as is oh and also I see a little bit of glue there and I found this eraser at Dollar Tree it's like specifically for glue and gunk and getting rid of it and like sometimes that can be a thing when you're making a journal you can get a little extra glue I can tell you it definitely does work it removes um, both art glitter glue um, and glue stick glue it doesn't work so well on Fabri-Tac on book cloth though. I tested that too because I had um, a book cloth like this that had like some glue on it and I tested it on that and it didn't really touch it. It just kind of, I don't know, it rolled around. It didn't do much. Um, but it does work on paper and like probably white glues, not silicone based glues. So next I want to cover up these words down here because the image is nice like it's an original book image but I think I want to do some kind of maybe like a, a rigid like a pocket that's got some shaping to it so maybe I'll take a look in this secret garden here and see if there is something that might be suitable. Oh that's so pretty. I don't want to like waste a large picture though so maybe maybe not this one maybe this one this is the book I've been using to make some or I'm going to be using more to make some ephemera for this journal this is like a kind of cool picture it's like um a lamp and like a stack of quilts and it kind of would look nice here because they they have a blanket and a cat there, but it might end up covering up too much of the picture and we'll lose this guy. 
Oh, the hard stuff. Oh, you know what? I think I did this. This is what I was thinking about. I've got just this little flower image here, and that could make a nice little tuck for the bottom of this without being super disruptive. So we'll just cut here. And this is nice thick paper, this book. It's really great. So I don't even need to like double up the, okay, so right about there. I'll keep that strap. Then how do we want to do this? Like small and kind of come up that way. Yeah. Maybe like that. Mm. Yeah, that would be good. Then what I will do is grab my distress oxide. Actually, will this work? This is distress ink. Does this have any ink in it though? A little bit. Choo, 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 choo. See if we can get ink out of this. If not, I need to throw it away. It's like an old ink pad that's been hanging around. Just want to put some black ink on the sides of this to just outline it a little bit. Yeah, so it was nice. I went to the thrift store today. We just went to one because I had to get back. I went on my lunch hour kind of and had meetings in the afternoon with work. So I had to get back to work. Okay. Yeah, that'll be good. Yeah, and then we just sort of had a nice lunch in a park. It was quite hot though, so we didn't stay for very long. I think my kids are probably out in the pool right now. Because it was quite a hot day today. Where it's been kind of cool the last couple days. I don't know, it's been such a weirdly inconsistent summer here. But, I mean, I'm thankful we're not getting like the crazy heat waves and fires like a lot of places are. And, hoping some of this will settle down and you know all this climate stuff so yeah it it was definitely a hot day today but I find like my garden this year has been very weird because it's been very inconsistent weather and I also I know it's like one of these things where you know when you, you've been bad like I didn't put enough fertilizer and plant food this year I know I didn't I just I wasn't really into gardening this year because we're we're on this mission to move that's kind of a long, like a bit of a long-term plan because we have a lot of renovations that we want to do. Sorry, I'm just trying to grab something here. <laughs> it's taking forever. There we go. Um, we have like a lot of renovations that we're trying to do before we sell and um, yeah, we're just so busy that I just, gardening has been kind of on the back burner and then of course recovering from my crazy appendix situation that also set us back a little bit in terms of like just bandwidth to do so now we need um a tag for that so let's think do i want to do something into the green gables book again maybe or do i want to look in this secret garden book or maybe maybe some birds because i'm thinking you know birds bird watching that's one of those lovely fun activities so see if there's a bird with maybe a bit of pink or another kind of bird that would just look nice that mauve brown that could be pretty I will I love this book oh here's some pink right there yeah that will work Now, will the whole entire thing fit in there or will I need to trim it down a bit? Let's see. Let's get back on camera first of all. We'll move Anne out of the way. There we go. So let's see if I need to trim. Maybe a little from the top, like not necessary. It stays inside the book. Maybe I will just trim a little bit here. And then I'll neaten up this edge.
Okay, then I need to just back this with some paper for writing. I also, I need to move this stuff out of the way. I've been working slowly on this journal, but I wanted to take a break from these journals for a little bit because I'm just wanting to do something different for a little bit. So I'll move that out of the way so that I can hopefully fit my book over here in my book stand. This one might be a little fat for my book stand though. Um, maybe I could sort of just do this. Yes, that would be good. And then I don't lose my place. So I'll set it over here. I swear, some days I feel like I need a desk that's five times larger than the one that I have, even though this is quite a large desk. I just seem to never have enough elbow room. Okay. I need my paper trimmer because I want to just, I can see how uneven this is and it's going to bother me. Some things don't bother me like this, but other times I'm like, nah, that's not... I'm usually decent at cutting like the paper straight, but sometimes every now and then I'm just not. And today is one of those days. There we go. That's better. I need to trade out this paper blade. It's a little bit weird. Okay. Now let's find something to back this with. Will it fit on one of these cards? Too little. I got this and it's kind of nice and it has this vintage 2ED on it. It's an old picture of Walt Whitman, but I think I will just glue on over him. Okay. Yeah, and I've also, this week, I set up this new, my husband and I, we have all these things that we need to do all the time, like between homeschooling and house cleaning and work and, you know, future planning and home renovation, you know, all the stuff of life, right? So I was trying to think of a way to keep us like consistently balancing our time on all those things. So I just bought this like magnetic um whiteboard for the refrigerator so the whole side of my refrigerator now is like a command center and it's like <laughs> essentially our our tasks so there's like each of my children have a section like what needs to happen for them that day and then um below that is like daily chores like things that we have to do that day and then there's always going to be some kind of like you know greater plan like I call it like projects or something so that's where like all of the bigger projects we're working on go so our next project is in our laundry room um I have to we have to fix this we have like this shelving on the back of our of the laundry room that was there when we moved in and it has gotten kind of I'm going to stitch around that um it's gotten kind of like weak and we found the problem that like the backing um one of the like rows that hold it on was not screwed into a stud like the people who lived in this house before us I think they had a really great like they were inspired to do home renovation, but they didn't know a whole lot about it. So they, they didn't realize like you should not attach things to just drywall. <laughs> so we've done a lot of like fixing things and doing things differently. Um, yeah. Anyways, give me one second. I'm just going to stitch that and pop it in the book. Okay. So that is all stitched around. It's using pink thread right now. And it has this vintage 2E on the back, and it's kind of nice. It's like an 1800s, like, Walt Whitman book <laughs> that came out of. Um, so this we'll just tuck on in here as a nice little journal card. Perfect. And then on this side, I already created this pocket, um, and then this little tag. And that pops on in there. And I put a tab on here. I think I'm okay with these. A very small, odd little black figure. Well, that's kind of a weird way to describe this little girl. So I think I will put a pocket here to just cover up those words. 
and um, I'm gonna again I'm gonna go to the Anne of Green Gables journal for that or yeah journal journal um, see if there's a little little motif maybe this little the bird's nest is cute or the black feather could be cute too yeah that might be nice um, let me just look at the picture again where is it there it is yeah so I have space to work with however I want so let's use this black feather that would be pretty along this line okay put that here thing about like making as you go along like this is that you have to keep kind of referring back to your pages to see how things should work so yeah I like that and I think it's on the back here, this words. Okay. So I think right about here. Then notch. A little notch in there. Where's my, there it is. I saw a nice sized EK, was it an EK? No, it wasn't an EK. It was a different brand of punch today at the thrift store. A little bit bigger circle, like one size that I don't have. And I was like, oh yay. But then I tried it out and it was like, nope. As soon as I tried it, it was like doing that lock sticky kind of thing that punches do when they get old or they're just not great punches. So that's too bad. I was happy with my daughter today because she was super um, responsible about something that happened. So my daughter tends to look for gadgets when when she goes into thrift stores with me. Like she's not really like into looking at books or toys. And I think that's because she has all that stuff. So she doesn't feel a need to get more of it. Um, let's hope that one day I will be more like her with uh, all of my art supplies. Um, but yeah, she, she was like, looking at different gadgets and she, she did find a cool like an old wooden game I have to learn to play it tonight it's like it has all these little pegs and things I don't know I've got to learn to figure it out um and so she also found this it was like a little walkie-talkie but I don't know actually what it was um we got to the counter and it didn't have a price on it so I mean to me it's like it's a thing a kid picked up a little tiny kid picked it up and like just you know two dollars whatever I would have paid for it um but like <laughs> they paged a manager to check the price and then then they were convinced that even though they couldn't find it that it must be um part of a set of like walkie talkies or something that they then became like very obsessed with trying to like you know they wanted to find it and they didn't want to separate it and I was just like guys really <laughs> you know, like it's a but my daughter was so reasonable about the whole situation that I'm very thankful because I think a lot of kids probably would like you know get upset and I was kind of wondering if she might have gotten upset but she didn't she was pretty cool about the whole thing you know, she did say to me as we were leaving, like, Mom, you know, I want that. And I'm like, no, I know, but it is what it is. I just explained it to her, so she was okay, thankfully. I didn't have any crying on my hands or anything. Not that she does that. She, I'm very lucky that way. She doesn't, like, typically cry or anything in stores. She doesn't do that kind of thing. I don't know that my son will be the same way. I have a feeling I'm going to get a run for my money with him, but... Cause he's a little bit, um, a little bit different. <laughs> he's a little bit more wild. I don't know why. It's just personalities. So I'm just gonna see how tall this can be. So I'm just gonna come right to the edge there, I guess. I'm gonna make a tag out of this. Um, just gotta back it with some book page and then back it again with some paper and then maybe add some fabric or something. We'll see. Um, yeah, so she was really reasonable about that. And then she found this other thing that she wanted to get that we didn't get. Um, because she's like, Mom, I, I found this game, you know, can we get it? And so she threw it in my cart. 
and I looked at it and I'm like, what is this thing? So it was called Time Out and it was like a blue, like a blue board, like a plastic board that you hold, you would hold in your hand. And then it had four red buttons on it. And what it was for was literally like giving a child a timeout and a four minute timeout. So after every minute they could like push a red button like to the side while they were, I guess, watching the clock. And I'm like, no, we're not getting this. We don't do timeout in my house. And she's like, why not? I said, because it's literally a punishment. <laughs> you don't want a punishment as a toy. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I haven't needed to even really think too much about timeout because I'm, I guess I'm extremely lucky. I don't think it's anything special that I do or don't do. But when I ask my daughter to stop doing something, she obliges. Like she's not, she's not a like argumentative kid, thankfully. So... I'm sure I will be paid back for that, like, eventually with probably my son or when my daughter gets to another stage. We'll see. Because <laughs> I know kids can be very tricky and different. And yeah, that will work. I love using up these old, these old papers that I, I get from old books. Okay. And then we saw um, a really cool, like some really cool birds today, just driving. Really big hawks, and um, we saw a big osprey nest on the top of a power line, and we saw a huge wild turkey. It's always nice to see that kind of those kind of birds around. And I brought my, um, some of my fussy cutting with me. I need to do a bunch of like fussy cutting words and things so that I have more stuff. Okay, so now I will just snip the edges of this into a tag. I think I've paused the camera twice now, so I have literally no clue how long this video is getting, but we'll see. should have something just looking for a phrase that makes sense talk to owls and have adventures hmm. that's a maybe Maybe Woodland Song. That would be nice. Okay. It'll be right there. Oops. Then I will find my Ink jobber. There we go. Throw away this glue page. I have too many glue pages. I'm not saving them right now. <laughs> I need to use up the ones that I have. Okay, Woodland Song. And then I don't know if I need like anything else on that really. I kind of just like it as it is. Maybe with a piece of fabric up top. Like this right here would be nice. bit here if I can. Yeah, and then I will stitch that on. I think I'll just put a little glue down and just glue it on for now. And I'll go over it with some stitches because I'll probably stitch all the way around this.
Okay. There we go. All right, so that will go to the sewing machine. Then I, that will fill that pocket. Um, maybe something for this to go on top of this page. I like to leave a little bit of the, the text of the book, but maybe I will put something large there that I can clip over it. I'm just gonna check my ephemera box to see if I have anything. I don't think I do. Because I've been using up so much of my ephemera, it's not even funny. Um, I don't know if this will go. It's probably too big. Yeah, it is far too big. That's my other problem is I have a bunch of really big pieces of ephemera <laughs> that I've made. So I need to like scale it down a little. That might work. Uh -huh. I don't think that has the right vibe for this journal. Let's see what else, what else. Mm. Let's see. a nice pocket that might work I guess I do have a few things that would work Probably about everything I think I have that would go. Possibly this, that's really cute. Hmm, maybe not. I don't know. Okay, let's set this aside again. And I need a paper clip because we're gonna clip this one on. I have to rest more paper clips. I actually have like this bin of paper clips and half of them are rusted and half aren't and I'm like why do I have non-rusted paper clips in here I rarely ever use them unless they're rusty because I think that looks nicer so this would fit but it's kind of I don't know if it's right for this journal I'm not sure this one I don't know I think it is right for this journal and it, maybe with some blue though, I'll save that one for another time. This will be too wide, so that can't work. This one will go. I like that one on the way to the wild woods. I think that's very sweet. And I'm actually gonna clip it from, oh, this, I didn't even realize this is also blank here. Yeah, I'm gonna need to put something on this side. I'm on the right page or did I leap ahead I left ahead okay so yeah this is where I was okay so let's do this like that and that looks really nice with these fall leaves like the colors are good together okay and the next page that we need to work on actually is this page so um, maybe one of these this pocket would be really sweet and I think what I need to do is I need to glue these down very carefully um, and then I'll put something behind here to kind of collage with so maybe even another kind of a pocket or something or maybe just a piece of paper that I will glue down on top of it to just kind of neutralize it a little bit let me look at my scraps Would these stars look kind of cool maybe? I think they might. Yeah, okay. Let's do that and let's tear. How wide do I want to go here? 
right there. edges off. I don't want this edge. Okay. So then, I like the torn edge look on that, and then I can just cover this whole thing up. Um, yeah, that'll be good. Let's do a little bit of blue ink around the edge to get rid of that paper core. Because the beauty's in the little details. I might actually do a little bit of yarn spinning tonight too if I have time. Just kind of like running out of time lately to do stuff. But like I said, that command center thing that I'm doing on my fridge where I have a list, I think it's going to work. My husband is very driven by lists. <laughs> it just helps him. It just, he knows the stuff he has to get done. But, you know, there's something really rewarding about like just checking it off of a list. <laughs> and I totally get that. So I'm happy to oblige and just create this little command center for us to operate with because it just makes sure, it makes us get our stuff done. I'm just going to really um, glue this part, these little flippies here, and make sure that they're glued down. Whoops. My backing fabric, or fabric uh, paper isn't as long as the original piece. There we go. Now, this is a pocket. Okay. I'm going to keep those on the page if possible. A little higher, a little higher. There we go. Yeah, because I don't want to lose the edges of those. And then just hold this down for two seconds here. Oops. And I want to ink around the page itself to just kind of bring all the blue together. And then I need to put something in the pocket. Oops, we got a little extra glue here. Let me grab my... Oopsies. Okay, we're gonna have to do something there. Let's just leave the boo-boo in so that you see the boo-boos happen, but that we can fix them. It's not a big deal. So first, I just want to run my ink along my edge. Here we go. Then we're going to fix this up with something. And actually, this reminds me, I need to make labels. Oh, goodness. I've been talking about this for like two weeks. Have I made them? No. Will I make them? Maybe. Hopefully. That could be cool. I think I like that, actually. Yeah, I think I do. Okay, let's put this back over here. Let's cover up that little... You have to be careful sometimes if your glue gets a little too wet, you can damage paper if it's a thin, and this is a thin thin paper, like a regular printer weight paper. Because I like to try to keep the thickness down on the page. I don't want to make it too thick. And because it's just a background paper that doesn't need a lot of strength, I just got to be careful with how much glue or how much water you get on things. So I'll just give that a press for a second. And please ignore my always terrible looking fingernails. Today they look terrible because I was, um, 
I made black walnut dye and I've been dyeing paper and it turned out really cool. Let me see, did I bring any down here? Hold on. That was anticlimactic. No, it's still upstairs. <laughs> Sorry. I'll show it in another video. Um, but yeah, it, it dyes really nicely. It's like darker than coffee dye. Um, and it's nice. I like it. So let me just check and make sure this pocket is down. Yeah, it is. Just. Yeah, okay. I just like to make sure whenever it's close to the edge that it's down, that it's not going to pop up. Art glitter glue is like <laughs> such a permanent glue, so I'm not that worried, but okay. Um, now we need something for this pocket, and then I probably should wrap this up because I have no clue how far we are. So I have this into the wood card that I made, and that could work maybe. Oh, it's too wide. Um, that's too bright. And these are all definitely too wide. This one I might use in this journal. These two I won't. This I probably won't. The others I will though. Um, so yeah, I need to make something for this, but I think I will wrap this up just because I'm pretty sure I'm getting to be at a long video at this point. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today and doing a little bit of ephemera making. Um, hopefully I will be back maybe tomorrow with another video to uh, continue on this journal. I'm really enjoying working away on it. Um, and so yeah, I hope you're having a lovely midweek. We're almost to Friday. Um, so if you haven't subscribed and you'd like to hang out, please subscribe.